Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Scrap Mechanic, and this little monstrosity that you see here in front of us is my version of the ghost, the Covenant ghost that you've seen in Halo. It's, uh, it's, I wouldn't say that it's, it's spot on, but I would say that it is probably pretty dang close to what you're going to get. So you turn on the first switch and this creates a little bit of lift. Uh, and so we have thrusters that go forward and uh, so we can get going here a little bit. But the only problem is anytime you go off a ledge, you kind of, you always end up with the uh, opportunity to flip. But we have left and right thrusters where we can go left and right. The thrusters in the back aren't doing all that great. Let's, um, or I always forget to turn off the lift thrusters. Let's see, let's turn these up just ever so slightly. Because uh, in the last update of Scrap Mechanic, they did give us the opportunity to change the power of thrusters. So that was really cool. But yeah, check it out. I mean, it's it's not... <laughs> it's, it's probably as close as you're going to get to a, a ghost in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, maybe... Oh, see, yep, every once in a while you just tip over. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's one of those things like... I guess you could even call it like a rocket car. Uh, because it does, it does like some rockety type stuff. It's it's all made out of rockets. It, it's drivable. Um, there are it's some weird lift mechanics too, but uh, yeah, like I said, like on the front sometimes, sometimes you lift. But let's see, let's let's do it. I mean, it gets some pretty decent speed, and it, I, I mean, it to me, it feels like a lot like the Ghost did. Uh, except there's no chances of flipping over in the ghost, but hey, what you gonna do? But, uh, yeah. So, you guys, uh, let's see here. Uh, is there any of those space pads anywhere? I don't see them. Any of those launch pads. So let's go ahead and head back over, and then, uh, I'll kind of show you guys how I built it. That way you guys can see. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come right back, and I'll, I'll probably even, like, put some... Oh, gosh, the lift... Go up, go up the hill. Go up the hill. I'll probably even put some coverings on it as well and really try to make it more like a ghost. Alright guys, so we're going to try our hand at my version of a ghost. And I do make it, I make it four wide and I do bring it back just here a little bit. Uh, and then in the front here, I also make this four wide. But I also come out just a little ways here. That should do it. I think I only came out three. Yeah, it does look like I only came out three. All right. Like that. And then we add that in. And then in the back here, it looks like there should be the seat. I don't think the seat is actually one short. So then we'll need to add uh, this in as well. All right, so this is the spot kind of where we, we put in one of the first thrusters. So we'll go like that. You can see that it comes up. Uh, we take these out, and then we add in our first thruster. All right, so there's that. Um, there's also, like, I have these connect down here along the side, um, but I've actually got them to where they connect in a slightly different way because of these thrusters that I put on here so we'll kind of see that comes down just like that and then I come up connect it there and then we put our, our thruster in there as well so that's kind of how the back works all right not bad you can see very very similar very very you know tightened um, and then in here we kind of cut out these two spots and then I even come up uh, with a wall here three high there you go three high and then uh, I come over I've only come over uh, one on these because there wasn't really a, a reason to come over any higher because once you get these in there that's all that's really necessary and then uh, I do another little square right inside here for the side to side thrusters just like that now in the front this is our turning mechanism. So I went ahead and I got these. I set them up. And I'll just turn these sensors kind of the, where they need to be. Uh, I'll take these off. Boom. Boom. Uh, I, and the reason I put these little contraptions on there is so that they uh, 
don't clip as much, but uh, they still seem to clip, but just not as much as like two blocks. And then I put in a switch in there. So this switch, this switch is gonna connect to the seat. It's gonna connect to the back downward thruster and the two front downward thrusters. Now these thrusters, depending on you know the materials that you use, but these thrusters are all set to one, except for the one in the back, I think it's set to two. There we go. So thruster is one. And then we got thruster is one. And then this one in the back is set to thruster of two. Okay, uh, now we're gonna hook the seat up to these two levers or these two uh, turntables here in the front. And so that way when we turn, let's take it off the lift here. We can see that when we turn to the right, the, uh, the right one goes and activates. So we'll just connect that one up over there, connect this one up over here. And then we just need to connect the back two up to the seat. Now, I do like to turn a lot of the thrusters down. Uh, because, you know, any large amount of thrust will kind of push this thing into, like, madness. So I just turn all of them down. Um, I turn the back two down to two. And uh, we should be relatively set. So now, like, you can see if we don't have the lift, we can't really move. But as soon as we turn the lift on, uh, it, it breaks some of that friction. And then you can see that we can actually turn to the right. And we can turn to the left. Not bad, you know, get a little bit of speed going here. A little bit of lift. And we've tipped over. So yeah, that's one of the bad things about it. Uh, it does have a tendency to lift off here a little bit. But, uh, you know, for a, a small vehicle like this, I really don't think it's too bad. Now, once you put some coverings on this thing and everything, uh, you know, it will change up the way the weight dynamics work. But I'll let you guys figure that out. But for now, my name is Drax. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hope you enjoyed my version of the Ghost. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and I can't wait to try out some other vehicles from Halo. All right, guys, have a good one.